All right, Solomon here. Uh, welcome. In this tutorial series, I'm going to be showing you how to work with Laravel subdomain routing and how to prop, uh, or basically Laravel subdomains and how to properly route those subdomains essentially. So, all right, so let's get started. Um, I'm, in, I'm in my terminal over here. I am using Laragon, a um, development environment that I would highly recommend using over something like Homestead or Xamp. Um, it has a lot of pre, uh, pre-installed software like PHP, MySQL, and you can also specify, um, if you want N, uh, NPM node and, uh, yarn installed as well. Um, another thing I like about it is it allows you to use HTTPS on your local, um, on your local project. So I'm going to pull up my browser and show you an example. Um, API test. Let's bring that over here and see. Um, we have a Laragon supports um, SSL certificate, so it's a nice uh, development environment that I'd recommend using. Like I said, you know, it, it's a lot better than uh, using Homestead and you know trying to download VirtualBox and VMware and all this additional software. Uh, so yeah, I I will link. It the software in the description below. So yeah, so let's hop in to this project. Right, our terminal, um, sorry, the terminal's small, I can't zoom in right now, but let's specify a new Laravel project. I'm going to be using Laravel um, 6 in this project. Um, so yeah, so there's gonna be a few extra steps uh, with like authentication and stuff, like authentication and scaffolding stuff um but i'll show you how to work with that so yeah so laravel new um sub domain tutorial so we'll just pause while that's while the application is crafting all right so the project has finished um installing so we will open this up in visual studio code real quick by using the terminal shortcut Oh, that's not right. Let's CD into that actually. All right, and then use the shortcut. Okay, here we are. So as you can see, we have the basic um, Laravel scaffold uh, or boilerplate structure, whatever you want to call it. Um, and so there's not going to be too many changes that we have to make. Uh, the goal of this project or the goal of this tutorial is just to show you how to work with um, sub, you know, routing the subdomains. So I'm not going to be putting too much uh, emphasis on working with the Laravel views, blade files, blade templates, or even like the models. It's just uh, mostly focusing on the controllers and the routes file uh, mostly. So yeah. But the first thing we will do is we will edit our um, ENV and update our ENV. Um, we will need to do a few things. So our session driver, we will want to use the database. And um, in our config file or config session file, we will want to update um, the domain path. So, so we will want to update the domain path. Um, so let's add in our env session domain and we'll plop this into there. We won't need the HTTP at all. All right. So basically what that's what this allows us to do is when we're logging in, um, it logs into the single or the um, the main domain rather than making sessions for each subdomain, which um, can be a headache. And that's kind of what that's uh, what 
what I just did uh, solves that problem. So yeah, you will definitely want to add that in your session file. Other things we will want to do, uh, we will want to update our uh, user model. We're going to user migration and the user model. So let's open this up a little bit more. Zoom in maybe a little bit more. Okay. We'll install this later. But in the migrations file, we will want to add a username as this is how we are going to be um, routing um, the subdomains. And since I am on Windows, um, I have to manually add in my uh, host file uh, each subdomain. Um, but in reality, if you were using a uh, server, um, you would configure it to allow wild wildcarding, which handles almost every single uh, subdomain and properly routes it for you. Um, you usually do that with Apache or NGX, uh, Nginx. So um, I will also link tutorials for that um, in the description below as well. So yeah. But continuing on our um, migration migration file, we want to add in the username, and we'll say username, and we'll call this a unique field. All right, and that's the only update to our um, to the user migrations file. But we will also want to upgrade update our model file as well. Change that to username. Let's correct. Um, any other things we want to add? Oh, we want to add, ooh, that's not right. We want to add our, the sessions table, and we can do that with a basic command. So, get this down a little bit we'll say php artisan session table all right so that created our session table for us um so i think i believe those are all of our migrations at uh migration and our model updates um i should also i should probably go to my uh providers though maybe I'm not sure if I need to update my providers in case I get an error uh, if I don't have the proper um, uh, column length uh, it's a common error uh, usually you just add in a schema a default string length 191 I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to do that yet so we're just going to test that out but we're going to go over to we're going to go over to our database and we're going to create a database real quick so we'll call this create database um subdomain test let's run that query all right so we've created the subdomain test um and now we can go back to our env change that all right subdomain test so we should be ready to migrate so if you do php artisan migrate all right, so that properly migrated, and I didn't have to add in the um, default string like that all. But usually what you'd want to do is if you run into this error on your local machine, you can just add in um, this line right here into your app service provider. So if you go over here, you'd, usually you'd add in this line to, make, uh, to allow for the migration. So yeah. But... Uh, that's basically that's it for the migration and models and configuration right now. Um, in the next video, we're going to actually focus on the actual um, core problem, and that's the controllers and routing. So uh, stick with it, and I'll see you in the next video.